A commoner unable to use magic in a decent way is killed by a group of nobles and ends up being reincarnated as the seventh prince of the royal family. And in addition to being a prince, he is now a very overpowered magician, even though he's just a child. Hello everyone, I'm the Quiet F, and in this video I'm going to be recapping I was reincarnated as the seventh prince so I can take my time perfecting my magical ability. So, without further ado, let's recap. A man is kneeling in front of a group of nobles who mock him as he despairs, knowing what is about to happen. One of the nobles offers him a gift before he dies, and asks him to try casting a spell. In desperation, he casts a tiny fireball, which doesn't even hit the nobleman, provoking laughter from the other. Then the nobleman begins his rich man's speech about how he thinks he's better than everyone else. The most important things for a magician are his lineage, talent and effort as the father of magic William Bordeaux once said. However, there's no point in making an effort if you don't have talent or lineage. A commoner like that would never be a magician. Then, the nobleman throws a fireball that begins to burn him alive. Despite screaming in pain, inside the commoner thinks it's incredible and is fascinated by the quality of magic that a talented nobleman can cast. His last wish before dying is that he could study and learn more about magic. Finally, his body is consumed by flames. Soon afterwards, however, he opens his eyes and realizes that he's surrounded by women who appear to be giants. He thinks about casting a spell to defend himself and sees that his hands are small, and out of those hands comes a jet of fire that grazes the face of one of the maids and goes through the castle walls. Meanwhile, in the streets, a news agent announces that the seventh prince of the Saloon Kingdom, Prince Lloyd, has been born. The maids are startled by the hole in the wall, but Prince Lloyd seems quite pleased. While life in the kingdom goes on as normal, the maids search for Prince Lloyd as he tries to escape from them. He is found by two nobles and asks them not to tell the maids that he has been there. The nobles call him to hunt, as this is a great pastime for a prince, but Lloyd has already run off. One of the nobles seems to be very interested in him, but the other says it doesn't make much sense, since he's much younger than the other princes and isn't in the running for the throne. But he started talking soon after he was born, read magic books instead of picture books, and refused milk from the breast as if it were an act of chivalry. In addition, the nobleman believes him to be the reincarnation of the great William Bordeaux, the father of magic. Lloyd has indeed been reincarnated, but before that he was just a normal resident of Salomite. He doesn't know why he kept his memories or how he was reborn as a privileged person, a prince of the royal family. But he doesn't care about any of that. The only thing he wants to do is find out about all the incredible magic the palace possesses. The palace's collection of books is huge, but as soon as he opens one of them, one of the maids, Sylpha, finds him. She is his sword teacher, but he doesn't understand why a prince with no chance of ascending to the throne needs sword lessons. Sylpha says that, as a member of royalty, it's appropriate that he should know how to handle a sword, and the meaning of her life has become to teach him that since it's been three years since she became his teacher. If Lloyd goes soft, the lesson could last all day, so he fights hard. But Sylpha always holds back when fighting him. And besides, he's using control magic to trace her every move. Even though he's cheating, Sylpha is much stronger than he is, so he's still at a disadvantage. So he decides to do an experiment, which means he's going to cheat even more. He uses magic to make the sword grow, to increase strength and to levitate, which makes the fight much more even. And what happens when you fight with a mirror and suddenly make a different move? Lloyd manages to trick Sylpha into attacking him because he wants to read again soon, but she defends the blow and asks if he's been cheating all this time. Then she hits him with the sword and wins the fight. She realizes everything he's done to even up the fight, but instead of beating him up, she marvels at how incredible and talented he is, because even court magicians have trouble casting two spells at the same time. But he doesn't have to rush to improve quickly, because Sylpha will be with him forever, but he actually cast four spells at the same time. She didn't notice the physical enhancement and the control magic, but he thinks it's best not to say anything. Then it's bath time. He wants to take a bath by himself, but Sylpha doesn't take her hands off him, because she knows he'll get out of the bath and go straight to his books. The other maids, who are also taking a bath, come up to him and tell him that if he doesn't obey, he'll be eaten by the demon from the secret library. Long ago, Saloon was almost destroyed by the demon Grimoire, and several wizards sacrificed themselves to seal it in a book. Sylpha asks if this is the demon that is sealed in the forbidden library in the basement of the castle, and says that it's just a story. And even if it were real, there's nothing a sealed demon can do. And Lloyd wouldn't be scared of a little story like that. But he's shaking in her lap, and all the maids are drooling over his cuteness, and they start arguing because they want him to sleep in their bed so he doesn't get scared. While they're arguing, Lloyd manages to escape and swim away, and he 
he's not scared at all. He's just super excited to find out that there's a secret library in the castle. At night, he finds the entrance to the library, which is protected by two guards. He then uses a concealment spell that uses airflow to refract light and make the user invisible. One of the guards yawns and the other asks him not to let his guard down, because supposedly there's a magic in the library that could shake the whole kingdom, as well as the powerful demon that has been sealed inside. But the other guard doubts that there's anyone who can break through their security. Meanwhile, Lloyd breaks through their security and passes through the gate, but the entrance is sealed by an unbreakable barrier made by 10 wizards. And, as you might imagine, Lloyd breaks through the barrier and enters the library. He is delighted, because he has lived there for 10 years and never knew it existed. As he reads, he remembers that he has to put the barrier back up before he can leave. Then, one of the books starts flying around the place and the sealed demon Grimoire appears, surprised that Lloyd has managed to break the barrier. He asks Lloyd to release his seal, because it's only a matter of time before it breaks due to wear and tear. In return, he can give Lloyd as much gold as he wants. But Lloyd realizes that this is weak creation magic, that it was just low quality pebbles with no resistance that turned into gold. And he says he's going to put the seal back on because all his magic depends on Saloon, so he can't put the kingdom in danger. Grimoire tries to convince him by saying that the people he hated died centuries ago, so he won't hurt anyone, but it's no use. Then, as a last resort, he tells Lloyd that he's going to teach him about ancient magic, magic that was lost hundreds of years ago, because he seems to have a talent for learning about it. And then he hits Lloyd's weak spot, who remembers how he was treated in his past life and says that now he's the perfect person to learn about ancient magic. So, he conjures a key and removes the seal that held Grimoire. The demon breaks free, not believing that the boy has really broken the seal. Lloyd asks him to teach him the ancient magic, and he obeys, casting a power towards the prince that destroys everything around him, while Grimoire thinks about what he's going to do now that he's eliminated the prince. But Lloyd created a barrier around him that blocked all the magic, while he analyzed its composition. He asks Grimoire to show him more magic, with a rather strange look on his face, and the demon fires several dark shots not believing in the strength of the barrier. Lloyd is fascinated by magic and wants to understand it with his own body. It's a bad habit he has, so he sticks his finger out of the barrier and the magic circulates through it, and his finger gets all messed up, but he's still happy to have understood the magic more. Then he asks Grimoire to show him more, and the demon is enraged. He splits into two heads and casts an even stronger spell, the Dark Spiral Shot which mixes two different incantations. While the barrier blocks all the power, Lloyd thinks that synchronizing two incantations is normally impossible, but Grimoire can use it because he has two mounts. But despite this, this magic is just an advanced version of the shot he had used before. Grimoire doesn't understand how the barrier is still standing, because that was his most powerful magic, and Lloyd imagines that he must have had a lot of fun learning it because understanding how magic works is the coolest thing in the world. Grimoire can't keep up with the boy's train of thought and tries to run away, but runs into yet another barrier on the way out of the library. Lloyd doesn't want to risk it because the castle is just up ahead and he has made a mess of things before, so he wanted to avoid it happening again. He has had enough of the demon's magic and now he wants to see it use defensive magic. So he launches a gigantic fireball and Grimoire doesn't even have time to react as the whole inside of the barrier goes up in flames. As he tries to recover from the attack, Lloyd doesn't understand why he didn't defend himself, and he's frightened by the boy's power. He then restores all the damage Grimoire caused to the library. The demon says that Lloyd is the most incredible sorcerer he has ever met, and the boy is also fascinated by him, because he realizes that demons can't be killed by magic. But he says he still feels pain, and Lloyd now wants to know how much he can take. Grimoire finally gives up and pledges his loyalty, asking Lloyd to turn him into a familiar, and the boy sees this as a chance to conduct an experiment. But in this form, Grimoire attracts too much attention, and he asks the demon to turn into something small. So he turns into a cute goat to try and attract Lloyd's attention, who asks him to hide in his clothes. Grimoire is happy, because if he sticks to Lloyd, he can control his mind and occupy his body. But when he sticks, he sees the immense amount of mana the boy has, and realizes that he won't even be able to get close to his mind. He begins to shake with fear and asks Lloyd to call him Grim, thinking that, for the time being, he'd better obey the boy to avoid trouble. Then, after everything has been sorted out, Lloyd finally gets to read. Well, that was the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything new. And I'll see you on the next video, bye bye!